welcome to the instructional video on the J100 series here with the J139 phone and the J179 phone. Basic differences, two buttons on each side, four buttons on each side, three screens makes this a 12 button phone while this one is a 24 button phone and the J179 has an optional Wi-Fi card so all you need is power and a good Wi-Fi system to connect it. The most important part on these phones are actually the four buttons underneath the screen. Those are soft keys and they will have different functionalities depending on what stage of a phone call you are at. Right now, phone is idle. You see features and redial. Here you only see features because this phone has not made any phone calls yet. So the redial button is not a single number redial. It's a multi-number reader, so it keeps the last 20 numbers in memory and you can scroll through them and can pick and choose which one of these you would like. To scroll through anything, this is the navigational key, up, down, left, right. So you can go through and while you're in here, it will say call or details. So you can see the details, how many times you called this and it can also then go exit out of this. The features button is something like forward and phone user. Phone user means the user that is logged on to this phone. You can lock your screen. You can log in with somebody else. You can simply log out that user or you can change your security pin and you have to then of course remember it. Phone screen settings are basically the display mode. You can have dual column which means the left and the right are using different functionality like we usually do otherwise you have to scroll through six pages until you reached the last page and the last button which is not very convenient or you can have an auto return which means if you're in a menu and you wait for 60 seconds it will go back to the home screen going back to the home screen you also can do that with the phone button which is here with the symbol of that phone when you're in here, you also have call settings in the features menu. Call settings means you can put do not disturb on. You can change the redial action to have redial just as a single number or as a multi-number. And there are a few more settings in here with a call timer on, which is by default. It's, it's set up for most users so not a whole lot of people will ever change anything on it because it is quite convenient to just leave this. The last option under the features is the visual voice, which is a way to access your voicemail. You hit either select or you hit the OK button, which is right here in the middle. And then you go to visual voice, which puts all your voicemail commands on the screen rather than having to listen to it. First option is listen, which means it will show you the number of messages you have, zero new, zero old, and zero safe messages right now because the voicemail has never been used. And if you have any messages in here and you hit the OK button or the select button or the button beside it, you actually go into the next option. Then you can pick and choose new, old, or if you scroll down, saved messages. If you keep scrolling, it goes down in circles. It will always come back to where you started. The messages option is recording a message to leave for other people in multiple voicemail boxes or in single voicemail boxes. But rather than having to re-record the same message in five people's mailboxes, you record it once and you simply send it to them. The next one is the greeting, which is the personal greeting for your voicemail box. And that is the greeting that people will hear when they call you and you don't answer and it gets to your voice mailbox. Passcode is your password and voicemail on or off is something that the administrator may or may not allow you to turn off or on. Other than that, that is it for the visual voice. So going back out with the phone button. Next button down is the contacts button. All people in the company are already in there automatically. 
if you want to put any personal speed dials in there, all you have to do is hit new. You name it something. For instance, you call it home. And then go, go down with the toggle button. And it has to start with the number that you dial for an external number, if it is an external number. So 9 is most likely the number, sometimes 8, 7, 6, and so on. And then you dial the number, and you hit the Save button. So, and then you can go back into the contacts, and you can look for Home, and there's Home. In here, if it's your personal speed dial, you can actually hit the more button and you can delete it or you can edit the number if anything changes. You can also just check the details to see if the number is the correct number or if you want to write it down if it's a speed dial that you entered a long time ago. Or you can just clear it all and you go back to the main screen with the phone button. The mailbox button is this one. This one will either go to the audible voicemail or it will go to visual voice depending on the system settings. And I put the headset on because otherwise the audio will interfere with my recording here. As soon as you are on an active phone call, these buttons change functionality completely. One becomes the hold button, one becomes the conference button, one becomes the transfer button, and one is the drop button. The drop button pretty self-explanatory. It will just drop the call. The hold button will put the person on hold. And this is a hold that only you can access. If you're putting this person on park, then this is a park zone that is set up and it can actually be picked up from somebody else as well. And it flashes green for the person that you put on park. It flashes red on everybody else's phone. To pick it back up, you push that button once, you see who is there with the caller ID and you hit connect. Then it starts, it stops flashing on all the other person's phones. Conference or transfer. So you hit transfer and you can transfer it over to somebody else. And you can do a warm transfer by announcing the call. So waiting until that person picks up and say, hey, I have the voicemail for you. And you hit the complete button and it's, it's there. And then you can transfer it back. And then you can just say, yeah, I don't wait. And you can pick it up then. And that is a cold transfer without announcing the call. Should you try to transfer and you type in the wrong phone number, say, oh, that's not the one. You hit cancel, transfer again. That way, if you have a typo, then you can simply correct your mistake. The voicemail we have, now we have one other thing. This is the History button, call history button, which is dark here, which is lit up there because there are missed calls on this side from us. So, and when pushed, it will go into the missed calls column, while this one will go into all phone calls. It will see call log all, call log missed, and on here with the toggle button, you can go sideways, go to missed, go incoming, outgoing, you can separate the calls by the type of calls they have been. Makes it easier to find calls sometimes. Keypad is self-explanatory. We've used the headset button to not have the audio interfere, the speaker, and of course here the volume. Volume for the call ringer, volume for the speaker, volume for the headset and volume for the handset does the exact same thing. There's also a mute button right on the bottom. It's nice and blue lighting up when it's activated. 
and that will be active even if you change from headset to handset or from handset to speaker so okay and that is pretty much the phone enjoy the phone <laughs>